Hello, and welcome to this edition of Credit Matters TV. I'm Kate Scanlon, a senior director in the Structured Credit Group of Standard & Poor's, and today I'm joined by my colleague, Whaley Chen, also a senior director at Structured Credit. Whaley, could you start off by giving us um, some of the market highlights from 2014? Sure, uh, thank you, Kate. Um, 2014, I think, relatively speaking, from just a pure issuance volume perspective, I would say is flat vis-a-vis -vis 2013, which is, by the way, consistent with the overall U.S. structure market. Um, but within that, uh, if you look beyond the volume, there you begin to see some interesting trends will actually come back and would expect further development in 2015. I'll just name two of them. Uh, one, obviously, solar continue to be a, a uh, focus. Um, you know, we have two more transactions, but the number doesn't really tell the whole story. I think what is really interesting is that you get into some of the more complex analytical problems associated with the tax equity, uh, which I actually will spend more time to talk about later on. The other area that I'm watching is small business. Um, towards the end of last year, we rated a, a transaction uh, backed by Collateral that it was somewhat unique called Can Capital. They do online, you know, short-term funding to U.S. small business, and we see that as a trend. Great. Um, and in terms of the performance for our existing transactions, 2014 was a relatively stable year for non-traditional securitizations. Aside from affirmations, the bulk of the rating actions were concentrated in the small business and the aircraft sector. In aircraft, we did see downgrades among some of the vintage transactions as a result of sales of aircraft or appraisals at depressed values. However, we did see some upgrades for older transactions where paydowns and decreased LTV led to increased credit enhancement. For the small business sector, the rating actions predominantly followed the implementation of our new criteria, where the downgrades were more concentrated in senior tranches and the upgrades were generally on the mezzanine and the subordinate tranches. Whaley, before we close, maybe you could give us an outlook for 2015. Sure, Kate. Um, I think, as, as I mentioned, two of these asset cla classes, um, solar and small business, I think had more room to grow in 2015. So come back to solar for a moment. If you look at the pipeline of collateral that um, are suitable for securitization, the, the uh, vast majority of them is co-owned by tax equity investors. So this is something new that we have um, have to, um, I guess, analyze and, and, and find risk mitigant uh, in the securitization context when you have a separate group of owners that may have control and may have certain rights over the asset um, that is certainly unique if you look at securitization when typically after the transfer and sale of the asset, you re really don't have that coexistence with another class of owner. So we're, we're dealing with um, a, a whole host of different analytical issues. And I think once we get them resolved and you see a transaction that um, you know, have these risks properly mitigated, um, I wouldn't be surprised that we'll probably open for more transactions to come forward. In small business, what you're seeing is actually, I think, it's several factors. You mentioned that last year we finally released our revised criteria with a, a recalibrated model. I think that's received farewell in the marketplace. So people are um, looking at that in the context of what other um, transactions or issuers beyond the two that we currently have that um, is suitable for them to consider issuance. I think the underlying, uh, the U.S. economy definitely is finally um, recovering and gaining speed, um, has definitely positive, um, I think, implications for you know, employment, which is very important for small business. Um, so as a result, you, you begin to see small business loan performance really begin to uh, improve, and I think that bodes well for securitization. And then on top of that are the type of issuers that I mentioned and can capital. Um, in, in, in contrast to traditional lenders where they do um, sort of face-to-face -face underwriting that tended to be more um, time-consuming, um, this new group of lenders focus on online data source and analytical tools that can make lending decisions relatively quickly. And um, that seems to fill a really nice niche in the small business lending world and some of the collateral makes uh, appropriate ones for uh, securitization. So we, we expect to see more of that in 2015 as well. Great. Well, thank you for those insights, and thank you for joining this edition of Credit Matters TV.